now to the story of Elizabeth Johnson, the mother of a missing child back behind bars again, locked up because she admitted she messed up. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius is live outside the courthouse that Johnson's all too familiar with. Yeah, we watched as Johnson prepared to go before the court commissioner here. Other inmates wishing her good luck, waving to her. You know, she could have gotten time in prison, two or three years in prison in this case, but in fact, she got a much lighter punishment. Elizabeth Johnson, now 29 years old, she made a deal to admit to one probation violation in exchange for dropping the other three allegations against her. She apologized to the court for breaking the rules, and when she, one of which was that she did not get permission to cross state lines last year. Johnson was sentenced to 20 days total in jail on the spot. Her defense attorney says it's harder on Johnson than most, though, because she's isolated in jail due to the notoriety of the baby Gabriel case. Prosecutors say Johnson is repeating old patterns, like when she ignored custody orders for her son Gabriel in 2009. The child is still missing. Ms. Johnson likes to do what she wants to do when she wants to do it and not what the court orders her to do or what the probation department orders her to do. I'm really working on becoming just a better person, just to be proud of myself and have integrity. Johnson has no current ties to the Phoenix area, so the judge is going to require to her to have GPS monitoring once she gets out of jail in a few days. In addition, she will have to remain here in Arizona and reapply to finish her probation out in New Mexico, where she's been living the last couple of years. Back to you.